Is my mind set on what is above? I want you to see the command of Colossians 3 2. This is an imperative. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. So, this is an intentional, purposeful choice that I have to make. Upon what am I going to focus? Am I going to focus on all my negative circumstances, on all the problems in my life? And I'm not saying let's ignore the problems in our life that we just kind of throw caution to the wind and live with no regard on how we can take measures in ourselves to to try to help fix some of the problems we face. We We need to do that. All right? If you're drowning in some problem that you've created, you need to take measures that God would have you to do in order to do your part in fixing it. But the overall emphasis here is on God. Set your mind on things above and not on things of the earth. There are so many things that we get all wrapped around the axle with that we can't even fix ourselves. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Do you live like a citizen of the kingdom? Paul writes to the Philippians, as citizens of heaven, live your life worthy of the gospel of Christ. Live as one who is a follower of Christ. Live according to your identity. And live in such a way that you can view death as a gain rather than a loss. This one is probably the one that challenges us the most. Can we say with Paul, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain? Is your relationship with God such that if you were called home today or tomorrow or sometime down the line, that you're ready to go? Or have you become so entangled with this world that leaving here is something that's not desirable? Where is your loyalty? Now,